Hi, kiddos. Welcome to Grandpa Ken's reading room. Here with my friends, and now you're here, so I'm with all my friends. I want to read to you today. I'm going to give you some hints. Let's see. Do you know who this hat is? Who I'm going to be reading? Okay. How about if it was yellow? Would you recognize it if it was yellow? Like in Curious George? His friend's hat is always yellow, isn't it? This one is Curious George Makes Pancakes. Well, we know that Curious George gets in an awful lot of, let's say, situations from making his curiosity known by all. So here we go. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very, very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is ready. See George sleeping in his little bed, and there's the man without his yellow hat, though. George loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. We have those here in Phoenix for our Phoenix Children's Hospital. Do you have them in your area, kiddos? It's good to support the children's hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there was all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat, but first gave a welcome speech. See, isn't that a nice, it's in a big, big city area where everybody can go and have fun. Thank you all for coming, the mayor said. We appreciate your generous support. He thanked all the volunteers who were helping that day, and finally he said, Please enjoy yourselves. Volunteering, I've done a lot, and that's really fun. Oh, yeah, and enjoy the pancakes. When the mayor finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to buy our tickets. Please wait here, and don't, 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 don't be too curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but mmm, something smelled good. Could it be... The pancakes? George was curious. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we know. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle full of pancakes. George watched as a man poured little batter on circles and then flipped them up in the air. I do that all the time. I flip all my pancakes. It looked like fun to make pancakes. George wanted to help. On the table near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. These pancakes need blueberries, thought George. And he sprinkled some on top. I see the big griddle. Yeah, that's a big one. Meanwhile, the man at the griddle was so busy he did notice the little monkey helping him. But the line grew and grew, and George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everyone wanted them, and the man could not keep up. Please wait, please wait, 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 he said to someone holding on to an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me, and just like that, he was gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, think maybe he panicked. George looked at the people waiting in line, then at the empty griddle. Why, he could make pancakes. He could be the assistant. George poured the batter into the nice round circles. Next, he added blueberries. He waited just a minute to let the pancakes cook. Then he flipped them over, and at last... He added the syrup. Mmm. I even use sugar-free syrup because I don't like to take too much sugar in. And it just tastes the same. The line for pancakes was enormous. But with four hands, George made quite a chef. And no one plate was empty for long. I've been coming to this breakfast for years, a man said, but I've never seen such pancakes made like this before. 
I've never eaten this many pan pancakes before, said a girl. I didn't even like pancakes before, said another girl, and they all lined up for more. They, George's curiosity, just like yours, sometimes is how we learn, isn't it? When the man returned with his new assistant, he was shocked to see a monkey making pancakes. I would have been shocked to see a monkey making pancakes. This is no place for a monkey, he said, and yelled to George, and he began to chase George. George had meant to cause trouble. He'd only wanted to help. Now he only wanted to get away. Quickly, George found a place to hide, and the man and his assistant ran right by him. But where did George go? Huh? Where did Joe go? Where did George go? Uh-oh, did he disappear? When it was safe to come out, George jumped down. He was covered in syrup like a pancake. He was sticking to everything. Oh, I've had that happen where it's sticky and your fingers are there. Of course, with syrup, you get to tell. George was curious. Could these napkins help get them clean? Uh-oh, what happens when syrup is sticky and you put on napkins? Yeah. Yeah, that was George. He had napkins stuck everywhere. No! Oh, the napkins made it worse. What George needed was some water to wash with, and, and why, well, here was the perfect thing. George climbed up. This would do just the trick for a sticky monkey. George sat on the bench and splashed himself with water. But all of a sudden, see, he was getting himself all clean, and he was just sitting on that bench thinking, wow, I'll get all clean and I'll, man with the yellow hat won't even know. Splash! George was in the water. <laughs> what a surprise. George climbed up again and splash, he went back down. He'd never been in a dunk tank before and he'd never had so much fun getting clean. Soon, everyone was having fun and the line at the dunk tank grew even longer than the line for the pancakes. Later, the mayor came by. I've heard all about your delicious pancakes, he said. You've made our fundraiser a big success, and I have a special favor to ask. See, mayor's talking to him when he's in the dunk tank getting clean. At the end of the day, George got to present the money from the fundraiser to the president of the hospital because he had made it such a success. Thanks to you, George. This has been our best year ever, she said. Will you come back and make pancakes next year? George nodded and everyone cheered because everybody loves curious George. But most of all, he just taught us a lesson about you should be volunteering and helping other people who need help, like the Children's Hospital. So get with your grown-ups, kiddos, and see what it is that you can do. This much help helps sometimes more. And remember, you can only change yourself. But sometimes when you make a change, it changes the world. You have a great day. And remember, think positive and come back and see Grandpa Ken on YouTube. we got a lot more Curious Georges and a lot more books coming.